Hello, today I would like to show you how to getting started with unified observability for Google Cloud in less than 10 minutes using Terraform. So what you can get after completion is having a running Elastic Cloud cluster that collects all the necessary Google Cloud data. And not only that, you will also have an extended dashboard for Google Cloud. You will have all the relevant SIEM detection rules enabled and activated so that, that they actively collect data and search across your data that we collect via Google Cloud. And we prepared a couple of integrations that um, enable you to do cloud security and uh, Google Cloud monitoring. On the Google Cloud side, we will have a compute instance with Elastic Agent installed that is already talking to your Elastic Cloud cluster. We will have uh, configured all the log syncs that are, that are needed to collect the data, including the uh, PubSub configuration to be able to talk with the Elastic Agent. And last but not least, we will also collect the um, metrics that are available via the Google integrations, and we will also collect the billing data. First of all, we need to create your Elastic Cloud account. We do this via the Google Cloud Marketplace using the link ela.st slash Google. Then we will subscribe and create the Elastic Cloud account and finally create an API key that we can use within the Terraform configuration. Okay, let me show you how to create your Elastic Cluster via GCP Marketplace. Well, the first thing you need to do is to go to the GCP console and uh, searching for Elastic here in the search box. What you will see is that Elastic Cloud is the first option to choose. So uh, we click on that and now we are in the uh, subscription page of GCP. So the only thing you need to do is clicking the subscribe, subscribe button. So we do that now and um, getting over to the new Elastic Cloud subscription page. And what we do here is uh, choosing our billing account. So in my case, it's the default, um, choosing some uh, terms. And now we click on subscribe. What happens now is that it uh, is creating a connection to an Elastic Cloud account. Uh, the first time you do this, you need to create an Elastic Cloud account by clicking on that um, uh, blue button here. So in my case, I already did that. So what I need to do is to go to the product page and manage on provider. In your case, you may need to register Elastic Cloud first. Okay, now that we are in the Elastic Cloud portal, the next thing we need to do is to get an API key. We do this uh, easily by um, navigating to ela.st slash cloud minus key. And then uh, you get to the page within Elastic Cloud to get an API key. Um, obviously, there's also a way via the UI, but that one is much quicker. Now we just click on Create API Key. We give it a name. Let's call it Terraform form, and then um, create the API key. We copy paste this and keep it for later usage. Yeah. The next step is to prepare your Google Cloud account. So what we need to do is to visit the IAM management console in Google Cloud, create a new service account with the right level of access permissions, and finally add a new access key to that service account. So we are now in Google Cloud and we need to go to IAM. So let's go there. And here we need to create a new service account. So we click on service account, create new service account, give it a name, uh, something like uh, Terraform demo. We have a service account ID now. So we can give it a description. Continue. We need to grant this service account access to the project. So we select a role. A good one to choose is the owner role. So we do this here by looking for the owner role. That is really uh, an easy one. Of course, you can be more restrictive. Uh, at the end, the Terraform account needs to be able to create uh, log routers or log syncs and pub subs and also be able to create compute engines and uh, change something there and then everything is done. However, with the owner account there, you, you definitely have an, enough permissions. Finally, we click on done and we do have the new service account and within the service account, so which is this one here within the service account, we need to create a key. So we're adding a new key. Uh, JSON is fine. Create. It's getting downloaded. And then we have everything we need for our Terraform setup. The last step is to run the Terraform script. 
For that, we need to add the Elastic Cloud API key that we created earlier as an environment variable uh, for the Terraform script. We need to download the Terraform template, of course. This can be done via ela.st slash Terraform. Then we save the Google Cloud credentials to the local environment config file and finally in it and apply the para in the Terraform and apply the Terraform plan. Okay, so let's do it. The first thing we need to do again is to export the API key. Then we need to do Terraform in it. Of course, I've downloaded a, a Terraform, of course, and I've also downloaded the template project like uh, described in the slides. So Terraform init is running now. And afterwards, the last step to do is to uh, add the credentials in the gcp.json file. So it looks like this. And then, um, so I've just added the file that was downloaded. And now finally we need to Terraform apply the script. The Terraform process is now complete. We are now back in the Elastic Cloud portal and here you can see that the cluster has created successfully. So let's click into that and see what we get. So first of all, you're on the home screen here, but what we've made is to uh, give you a couple of dashboards. So you can uh, just click into dashboards and you see all the relevant GCP dashboards. So for example, there is an, a GCP overview dashboard. Um, just uh, let's look for that. It's called overview and it's this one, Google Cloud Overview. And then we can click into that and we will see that most of the um, data sources are already filled in. So uh, there is one warning here that there is no billing data. Billing data is only delivered, I guess, in Google every 12 hours. Uh, so it will take um, up to 12 hours to get this data in. And there is also uh, the uh, no data for alerts right now. So there is no risk at the moment because we just created the environment. But if you like, we can um, create one of the uh, risks and then uh, see how this um, how this applies. You, know, you can see a couple of um, different things are already here. And of course, we can also have a look into the other dashboard, something like the uh, firewall dashboard that is also giving us relevant information about the firewall events that have happening within the uh, within your GCP environment. I wish you good, a lot of fun by exploring your data, by exploring your GCP environment. And with that, I'm just saying goodbye.